Rosie Vela is currently the finance director for the city of Ingleside, Texas, where she prepares the annual budget, oversees the annual tax rate adoption process, and is responsible for the interim and annual financial statements. Vela has 29 years of experience in municipal finance, having worked for the cities of Corpus Christi, Richardson, and San Marcos, as well as serving as interim director of finance for the cities of Cedar Park, Buda, Windcrest, Beeville, Granite Shoals, Addison, and Copper's Cove. Vela is a certified public accountant and certified government finance officer. Vela graduated from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi with a Bachelor of Business Administration in Accounting in 1979 and a Master of Business Administration in 1980. Vela, who was born and raised in Corpus Christi, lived in the Dallas area for 10 years and in San Marcos for the last eight years before returning to her hometown. She is married to Dagoberto Vela and they have two daughters, Monica, who lives in New York City, and Veronica, also a Texas A&M University Corpus Christi alumna of Corpus Christi, and a granddaughter, Akira Nunez, also of Corpus Christi. Dr. Roy Lehman is recently retired after 22 years with Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, where he was a professor of biology and director of the Laguna Madre Field Station, LMFS. During his university tenure, he developed 13 new courses and has advised and mentored thousands of undergraduate students and graduated 40 students with master's degrees in biology or environmental science. Lehman received a Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, Life Earth Science Biology Certifications in 1980 and a Master of Science in Biology with a Geology Minor in 1982 from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, then Corpus Christi State University. Lehman has authored two award-winning books, Plants of the Texas Coastal Bend and Marine Plants of the Texas Coast. In addition, he has authored a book on the plants of Webb County, Texas, written chapters for books, and published in numerous scientific journals. He has also written grants for scientific research, student support, the LMFS, and the university totaling approximately $2.8 million. In 1999, laymen and supporters began construction of the LMFS surrounded by wetlands, marshes, and seagrass beds, which provide a site for research and educational activities for students and faculty. Lehman, a Corpus Christi native and U.S. Coast Guard veteran, is married to his wife, Roberta, of 41 years. They have one son, who is also a graduate of Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Omar G. Lopez works in corporate communications at AEP Texas. He co-manages the company's robust internal communications network that includes weekly online blogs, visual communications, and company news stories. And he executes the company's external communication strategies by serving as a traditional and digital spokesperson for the company. He hosts a company television show about the utility business called Take Five. Lopez graduated from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi with a BA in English in 2011. During his time in AEP Texas, he has been responsible for the customer education component of GridSmart from AEP Texas, a five-year, $350 million initiative which brought smart meters and advanced metering technology to the company's one million electricity users across the state. He is also a freelance writer and photographer who has been published in magazines and newspapers across Texas and in USA Today. Currently, Lopez sits on the board of directors for K-Space Contemporary, a contemporary art space in downtown Corpus Christi. He served as co-chair for the fourth and fifth annual Dia de los Muertos festivals, which brought more than 35,000 people to downtown Corpus Christi in 2013. He has served as co-chair of the Corpus Christi Heart Walk, co-chair of Relay for Life downtown Corpus Christi, and for several years, he played Santa Claus for thousands of children as part of the annual Harbor Lights Festival and AEP Texas Children's Parade. He also sits on the boards of Corpus Christi Metro Ministries, the Corpus Christi Symphony Orchestra, and the Harbor Playhouse. Leslie Gimble has 18 years of experience as a healthcare executive with a record of achievement in a multi-hospital system. Since 2013, she has held the position of Chief Nursing Officer with Baylor Scott & White Round Rock Region. Prior to Baylor Scott & White, Gimbel spent 16 years with Christus Bond Health System, where she attained the role of Chief Nursing Officer for the Christus Bond Shoreline Flagship Facility. Gimbel has served as adjunct faculty for Texas A&M University Corpus Christi College of Nursing, serving as a clinic instructor for both Fundamentals and Med Surge 1 students. 
She holds a Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Millican University, Decatur, Illinois, along with a Master of Science in Nursing Administration from Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. She's a board-certified Nurse Executive Advanced, NEABC, a graduate of the Christus Academy in 2004, a member of American College of Healthcare Executives, Sigma Theta Tau, Texas Organization of Nurse Executives, Central Texas Organization of Nurse Executives, and American Organization of Nurse Executives. Gimbel is married to Peter Gimbel, who is also a Texas A&M University Corpus Christi graduate. She has four stepchildren and one son, Hayden Gimbel, age five. The family currently resides in Georgetown, Texas, and the family enjoys traveling, outdoor activities, and spending time together. Corinne Caruso is currently an instructor of computer science at Del Mar College. Prior to this, she was an adjunct instructor of computer science and the engineering program coordinator too for engineering recruitment and STEM outreach at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi for four years. She holds a Bachelor of Science in Control Systems Engineering Technology, a Master of Science in Education, and a Master of Science in Computer Science, all from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. She has five years of experience as a middle school and high school math and engineering teacher ending in 2012. She was the principal instructor for Project Lead the Way, a pre-engineering program at Flower Bluff Junior High and high schools. This experience brought her back to Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, where she organized many other outreach programs such as the THECB Summer Program, the summer camp for high school teachers, the Coastal Bend Engineering Design Competition, the South Texas Engineering Alliance Engineering Design Fair, the STEM Summer Institute for Underwater Robotics, and the first Tech Challenge Islander Qualifier. Caruso is originally from Brownsville, Texas, but grew up in the small town of Los Fresnos. She is married to Tony Caruso, a current E-Line military nursing student and alumnus. They have two sons, Max, 20, a current communications major at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, and Atticus, four, Corinne Caruso plans to continue her career in education by combining her experience in instruction and outreach. Dr. Jack Dugan moved to Corpus Christi in 1977 and founded the Dugan Eye Institute. One of the most respected ophthalmologists in the nation, Dugan was named one of America's top 10 eye surgeons and was selected as past president of the Texas Ophthalmological Association. Jack is really a complex character. He is a patient, thoughtful, highly skilled uh, surgeon and physician. Uh, he is a loving husband and a committed father and grandfather and uh, really caring uh, towards his family. Yet he is the life of the party. Uh, when we're traveling on our golf trips or if you're fortunate enough to have him with you at some festive occasion, a big birthday party or something, you always know where he's at because it's rocking and rolling in the universe of Jack Dugan. Dugan has served as a member of the executive boards to several organizations, including Bank of America Corpus Christi and the Texas State Aquarium. He became the first physician to be selected to the Corpus Christi Business Hall of Fame. His dedication to Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and Islanders Athletics has been long-standing. He has contributed to the Islander Athletic Fund since 2000 and is an ardent supporter and season ticket holder for the Islanders basketball teams. His most lasting contributions have come in the form of the facilities that bear his name. He led the charge in the fundraising for the construction of the Jack and Susie Dugan Wellness Center, the home of Islanders Volleyball and the on-campus home for Islanders Basketball. The 50,000 square foot facility opened in 2009 in his home to recreational sports, the student exercise facility, and the offices of Islanders Athletics. Most recently, he provided the lead gift for the Dugan Family Soccer and Track Stadium, the home for the Islanders soccer and track programs. The stadium, completed in 2013, provides the Islanders with one of the finest facilities of its kind. It has provided an on-campus home for Islanders track and field for the first time, with several home meets already on the books and the 2016 Southland Conference Outdoor Track and Field Championships in the future. Dugan is a standout high school athlete. He attended St. Benedict's College in Kansas, where he served as co-captain of the basketball team. In 1967, he helped lead the team to an NAIA National Championship. He went on to graduate from the Creighton School of Medicine, where he finished in the top 10% of his class. 
performed his residency at the University of Texas and went on to serve as Chief of Eye Surgery at Fort Benning, Georgia during the Vietnam War. Dugan was married to Susie McAdams for 34 years and raised two sons and two daughters before Susie lost her battle with cancer in 2001. He has been married to Bonnie Trejo since 2008. He has 12 grandchildren. Jack, you're a great friend to our city, to your golf buddies. You're a great father and a husband, and you're a great friend to this university. Congratulations on your induction into the Athletic Hall of Honor. Go Islanders. Gonzalo Figueredo, a former team captain and member of the Portuguese Davis Cup team, is the winningest Islanders men's tennis player of all time. He currently serves as associate head coach for the Islanders men's and women's tennis programs. Well, Gonzalo as a player was a very special and, and I feel very unique combination because he was a tenacious competitor. And I don't mean a little tenacious, I mean an absolute warrior. And yet he was such a kind-hearted gentleman. And that is such a special combination. Gonzalo really showed that as a player. He was a great teammate, great captain, but he was also a really genuinely nice guy. And, and a really great teammate. And that's exactly how he is as a coach. He's intense. He will do his due diligence and work as hard as anyone on the things that affect winning. But he's a genuinely kind-hearted guy, as, as high a character guy as you could ever ask for. Figueroa, though, has seen Islanders tennis reach the Intercollegiate Tennis Association's top 65 nationally seven years in a row. In 2014, the men's team clinched the Southland Conference regular season championship for the seventh straight year and the women's team captured their first in program history. Altogether, the Islanders have advanced to the National Collegiate Athletic Association Tennis Team Championships in 2008, 2009, 2011, 2013, and 2014. The Islanders were one of only 39 universities in NCAA Division I to have two teams competing in the 2014 NCAA Tennis Championship. In 2013, both the men and women received NCAA Division I national rankings, making the Texas A&M Corpus Christi squad only one of 34 universities in the nation to have both teams ranked in the Intercollegiate Tennis Association national poll at the time. Also in 2013, Figueredo helped guide the men's team to number 51 in the ITA national rankings and win the HEB Tournament of Champions. The Islanders beat two top 35 teams to win the championship for the first time in program history. During his playing career, Figueredo was one of the most respected competitors in all of Division I college tennis. He achieved a top 100 junior world ranking and competed in world junior events against Roger Federer, Andy Roddick, and Juan Carlos Ferrero. He reached the top 60 in the NCAA Division I national singles rankings and had five wins against players ranked in the top 25 nationally, including a signature win over NCAA champion Benjamin Becker who later defeated Andre Agassi in the U.S. Open in Agassi's last career match. A two-time first-team All-Southland Conference player and four-year team captain, Figueredo helped the Islanders advance to the NCAA Regional for the first time in school history during his senior season. He finished with a career record of 67-33 and in singles and 57-37 and in doubles play. Figueredo graduated from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi in 2006 with a Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology with an emphasis on sports management and again in the summer of 2012 with a Bachelor of Business Administration with an emphasis on management. He married Johanna Figueredo in September 2014 in Aransas Pass, Texas. Ah, Gonzalo, what a journey it's been. What a journey it's been. Last year, winning the conference, both teams in the NCAA. A lot of chopping wood, my friend. Big salute to you, brother. Cheryl Hendricks began playing basketball on a dirt court with one goal, next to his parents' general store and post office in the small East Texas community of Big Sandy, Dallardsville. In high school, he played for Texas Basketball Hall of Fame coach W. Ford King and captained the Big Sandy Wildcats from 1954 to 1956. In 1956, Hendricks entered the University of Corpus Christi on a basketball scholarship and played for four years under head coach and Hall of Honor member Jess Richardson. Hendricks was a standout defender and co-captain of the Tarpons for two years, leading the team to the first round of the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics Championship Playoffs in 1960. I met Cheryl Hendricks in 
1989, seems like yesterday. Um, I was three days on the job. I was talking to the Alumni Association about what I saw as the future of the university. And when it was over, this fellow came up to me and said, you know what you're talking about? You're talking about marketing. And that was Cheryl Hendricks. Uh, from that point forward, we became good friends, good partners, and worked for the university tirelessly. While at the University of Corpus Christi, Hendricks was president of the Circle K Club and was named Lieutenant Governor of Circle K Region 6, representing several colleges in Texas and Oklahoma. Hendricks was hired by Gulf Oil Corporation while still in college and graduated from UCC in 1960 with a Bachelor of Business Administration. His successful marketing career with Gulf Oil progressed through Fort Worth, Austin, Kansas City, Houston, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and San Francisco. Following the Gulf Oil Chevron Corporation merger in 1985, he became Vice President of Credit Card Promotions in the Chevron Travel Club. Retiring in 1989, he returned to Houston to start his own marketing consulting company and work with several major corporations including Allstate Insurance, Citco Petroleum, and others. In 1992, Hendricks joined the National Alumni Board for Corpus Christi State University and became the president of the National Alumni Association, which helped return the university to a four-year institution. That same year, he founded the TAMUCC Houston Alumni Chapter, and while serving as president of the National Alumni Association, the city of Corpus Christi issued a proclamation declaring April 29, 1994 as Sherald Hendricks Day. He helped introduce the Athletics Hall of Honor upon its inception in 2001 and received the university's Outstanding Alumni Award that same year. Hendricks was married to Ann Holder for 24 years until her death in 1984. He has four children. Deanna, Kim, Dean, and Sherry. Since 2005, he's been married to Susie Lewis, and they have four grandchildren. Hendricks continues to serve as an active member of the TAMUCC Houston Alumni Association, assisting with fundraising for the chapter's ongoing annual scholarship for the university. Well, Cheryl, I want to thank you for engaging me when you first met with me many years ago, and uh, congratulate you tonight on an honor well deserved. You are definitely one of the top alums of all time. David Fonseca, incubator manager at the Coastal Bend Business Innovation Center at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, learned the value of hard work, honesty, and entrepreneurship at an early age. His first lesson on entrepreneurship was at age 10, when his parents sold all they had to start their own business. Fonseca is passionate about entrepreneurship and finds ways to proactively contribute to his local community and to his home country of Colombia. David is a good listener. Uh, he's always in a learning mode. I think when he's in his sleep, he's in a learning mode. David asks a lot of good questions. He synthesizes the answers and he puts together some things and then he comes back and, and, and rethinks it. So he's pretty thorough about it. I think my experience in the financial world has been a resource for him also, um, but uh, just an awful lot of that comes from his asking the questions and synthesizing the answers. Fonseca believes in nurturing the economic development of the Coastal Bend as he mentors and coaches clients with pioneering solutions to real issues. In the last four years, Fonseca has assisted more than 120 companies to help them accommodate their process to deliver innovative products and services. Through his work as a liaison between clients, the Island University, funding agencies, and local and state governments, the Innovation Center's clients have created and reported 577 full-time, induced, and indirect jobs raised more than $2.5 million in equity, and generated revenues of $3.7 million in only the first half of 2014. Born and raised in Bogota, Colombia, Fonseca was fortunate to graduate from the best private school in the country, St. George's School, where he learned French, English, and Spanish. He chose to attend the Island University because of the reputation of its College of Business. He began his professional growth as a volunteer at the Innovation Center in 2009. He graduated with a Bachelor of Business Administration in Finance in 2010. Eventually, he became a student worker and upon a graduation, became a graduate assistant while receiving a scholarship to cover his Master of Business Administration tuition. He graduated with his bachelor's and master's degrees in business administration from Texas A&M University of Corpus Christi in four years, working 40 hours a week. Additionally, in 2010, Fonseca served as president for the Colombian Student Association, where he launched a sponsorship program to support the Palia Foundation in Colombia, 
which helps low-income children and adults with disabilities and genetic disorders. Fonseca collaborates with the National Business Incubation Association as a professional speaker. He has presented in Mexico, Russia, Denmark, and international conferences across the United States. He is also an adjunct professor of business at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. He is a co-founder of the Colombian Student Association and the Young Business Professionals of the Coastal Bend and currently serves on several boards and committees. Well, I would, I would like to tell him that I know he goes through guilt feelings on whether or not he deserves this honor. And I'd like to tell him, David, you do. Um, and I think the record speaks for itself and you will continue to earn that uh, for the rest of your life. So enjoy uh, this recognition and share it with your friends and family. Patrick Richardson is a solution advisor for IHS, a global information services corporation. As a solutions advisor, he provides oil and gas companies with data, enabling them to track well history, drilling permits, rig locations, and drilling costs throughout North America. Richardson is one of two advisors responsible for the Energy Technical Department, which earns roughly $25 million in revenue for a team that generates $500 million as a whole. Following his graduation from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi in 2003, Richardson started off in the healthcare industry as an operations manager. He continued in that field for five years before returning to college for his Master of Business Administration. For the Alumni Association, I know he's just, he's so, he's so proud of the, of the school. I mean, he's proud. You know, and anytime he comes to Corpus, you know, he makes it a point to come stop by campus and he always talks about how great the school looks. So, and you know, he's, I've got to go buy another shirt or, um, you know, and I still think he even has the license plate holder that says alumni of A&M Corpus Christi. Um, but, you know, when, when you have someone that's that loyal and that proud of where he's come from, it, it's, it's special. You know, if, the, if this school had more alumni like him, there were, there's not going to be enough island to grow this campus. I mean, that's special when, when you see somebody that loyal to a, an organization, whether it's a fraternity or the, the school or even the Alumni Association, that's, that's, that's awesome. After he graduated from Our Lady of Lake University, he began working in the energy industry. Since switching industries, Richardson worked for a utility company as an operations analyst and for a commodity trading firm as the customer support and operations manager. Richardson focuses his philanthropic efforts in his local community of the Heights, Houston, and charities devoted to cancer treatment. For example, he volunteers with his church, St. Andrew's Episcopal, to help feed the homeless and underprivileged of the neighborhood. Additionally, Richardson volunteers and makes contributions to a variety of fundraisers for individuals with cancer and organizations that fund cancer research. He targets his efforts in his community, small organizations, and individuals where he has first-hand knowledge of the needs at issue. Richardson was born and raised in Houston, Texas, and continues to live there now. Texas A&M University Corpus Christi holds a very special place in his heart. He feels that his years at the university prepared him for the real world, not only through the education that he received, but through valuable leadership experiences that it provided. Moreover, Richardson dearly values the lifelong friendships that he made and experiences he had as part of the Phi Delta Theta fraternity, student foundation, and student government. In 2006, he married Brianne Watkins and is very excited about becoming a father this April. Richardson would like to thank his parents, Fred and Sharon Richardson, for instilling the importance of education throughout his life and all the support they have provided him. His volunteer service includes serving as past president and a current board member of the Greater Houston Alumni Chapter of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and is a volunteer for both the United Way and the Houston Humane Society. Patrick, congratulations on being nominated for the Alumni of the Year for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. You've done so much for the uh, campus and especially for Phi Delta Theta. All of us, all the brothers, we're proud of you. Thank you for all you do. David McKee. Retired professor of biology and mariculture at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi began teaching at CCSU, Corpus Christi State University in 1985, where he developed a graduate maricultural program. The program began accepting students in 1990, and at McKee's retirement in 2013, students from 21 states and 17 foreign countries had graduated from the program, now called the Master of Science in Fisheries and Mariculture. Well, uh, Dave McKee won the award I believe because he was recognized for his contributions to both uh, science in the coastal bend and conservation efforts. Uh, and I think I'll 
he's a very well-rounded person and people respect that and are always ready to celebrate that when they see it in someone. McKee, who has taught biology, marine biology, and environmental science programs to undergraduate and graduate students, was a strong proponent of learn from nature, not just books. His field trips included more than 20 years of taking his ichthyology students on weekend trips to the Welder Wildlife Refuge for sampling fish along the Aransas River and on the adjoining Welder family ranches. For 25 straight years, McKee conducted 24-hour studies on Oso Bay with his marine ecology students. One rewarding accomplishment was securing funding from Coastal Conservation Association, CCA, for funding undergraduate marine biology students to spend a summer interning with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. This is now in its 13th year and includes internships in all eight bay systems along the Texas coast from the Sabine to the Lower Laguna Madre. McKee, who was born in Refurio, Texas, received his Bachelor of Science in Biology from Texas A&I in Kingsville in 1970, a Master of Science in Biology from Corpus Christi State University in 1980, and a PhD in Wildlife and Fisheries Mariculture from Texas A&M College Station in 1986. Following graduation, he taught science at both the junior high and high schools at Flower Bluff. In 1977, McKee was hired by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department at the Rockport Marine Lab. In 1980, he was accepted into the Ph.D. program in the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries at College Station. McKee, who has served on 112 graduate advisory committees, has published two books and has authored dozens of publications and articles. He is a member of numerous organizations including the Corpus Christi Mustangs, the Downtown Rotary Club, and the Ananias Fishing Club, and has served on the board of directors for the Coastal Conservation Association and Friends of Padre. He has received many awards, including the Lifetime Achievement Award from CCA. McKee, who serves as Associate Director for the Laguna Madre Field Station at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, has been married to Jane for 42 years and has three children and five grandchildren. Congratulations, Dave. <laughs> well deserved.